coming to you with a video today to tell y'all about my horrible experience of banking while black business banking while black i took a minute before i made this video or posted it because i was very emotional and i was kind of sorting my emotions out about this situation but this happened last saturday may 27th of 2023 um a couple of days prior i made an appointment with byline bank in wicker park if you all know anything about Chicago, you know Chicago is super segregated still, unfortunately. Uh, Wicker Park is like a sort of like a hippie neighborhood, but still kind of ritzy and upscale. Okay, so I made an appointment um, to open a business checking account for two of my businesses. Um, so I made that ahead of time. I arrived to my appointment early like i was standing outside waiting for about a couple of minutes prior to the branch manager coming to open the door he let me in i sat down waited for about maybe like 10 to 15 minutes um prior to someone coming to you know help me um so the banker the young woman i'm going to make the assumption that she was a latina woman she came out um, called me over to her desk i sat down um, and she began to ask me. Now, anytime I've ever made a business banking appointment, the individuals have either shared with me, you know, what to expect, what documents to bring, et cetera, et cetera. But I have been through this rodeo several times because my one of my businesses have been established for two years. So I know what the deal is. I know that you need to bring your articles of incorporation. I know that you need to bring your EIN letter from the federal government, from the IRS, um, you know, and an ID and things of that sort. So I sit down about five minutes of me sitting down, this guy comes in. He's a white guy or a European guy, two guys come in and they're like, um, yeah, you know, I'm here for an appointment to open a business checking account. And so the banker that's helping me addresses him and she says, you know, did you make an appointment? He's like, yeah, I spoke to you. And she's like, okay, well, you know, I'm helping this lady uh, who just walked in make um, open a checking account. And I stopped her. I said, no, excuse me. I made an appointment. I'm not a walk in. You know what I'm saying? Because I could see how that can upset someone that someone just walked in and they made an appointment. So I said, no, excuse me. You know, I made an appointment to her just quietly, not loud or anything. And so the guys that walk in immediately starts going off. I'm talking about he like, he's yelling expletives and everything, cursing, you know, like she just walked in and you helping her. I made an appointment, yada, yada, yada. So this goes on for a few minutes. It leads to the gentleman just storming out of the branch. The gentleman, both gentlemen stormed out of the branch. And so um, I told the lady, I said, excuse me, you know, you just told that man I was a walk-in. I made an appointment. And she goes, when did you make the appointment? <laughs> I said, I don't know, a few days ago. So she looks in her computer and she says, oh, okay, yeah, you made it on, I think like May 25th or something of that nature. I said, yeah. She said, oh, well, you know, I was at a training, so I wasn't aware. First of all, that's not my issue. You understand what I'm saying? You got a training, cool, but if you have clients on your calendar, you should still be aware of what you have on your calendar. That's just professional. You understand what I'm saying? So I'm like, all right, cool, whatever. So she get back to it. She started asking me for my documents. Um, the documents that I'm producing and giving to her, she's basically telling me that that's not what she needs. Like from my articles of incorporation, which I pulled down directly from the um, Secretary of State website. She's like, no, I need them with like a ink signature. Um, it come, you know, you send it to the state, they send it back with this signature. So she pulls out an example. And I'm just like, you know, I've never seen that. Like I have my articles, I, I file them on an annual basis as I'm supposed to, this is what I have. So I emailed them to her, um, right? And so she she, um, she gets the email and then she gets to asking me, um, you know, I guess she looks at my address and my, I stay in Bronzeville, but mind you, I'm in Wicker Park. So she's like, is this the branch that you that you intend to bank at? And I'm like, I was like, yeah. The whole time, y'all, I'm even tone, polite, everything. I was like, yeah. She was like, oh, okay. Um, are you sure there's not one closer? Whole time, I'm like, no, this is, this is the closer. And I told her, I said, you know what? I actually have 
Airbnbs in this neighborhood. So I frequent this neighborhood often, although I don't reside. And she's like, oh, okay, well, I'm just, I was, and I asked her, I said, why are you asking me that? Oh, I just want to make sure that we will be your bank, that I will be your banker. I said, okay, cool. So I've been sitting here now, y'all, for, no, before I get there, she gets up, goes to the back and goes to get her some coffee and comes back. Didn't say excuse me or anything, but just the unprofessionalism of getting up in the middle of our session to go get you some coffee. I ain't trip crip. I just kept it cool and you know what I'm saying? She came back and um, you know, she started asking me about my business. I tell her, you know, I'm a, I'm a mental health therapist. She questions me, okay, where do you conduct your business? What do you do? And I'm not tripping because I know that they have to ask you these questions. So I'm just answering her questions. But the whole time, my energy is shifting, y'all. Like, my anxiety, I can feel the anxiety in my body. And whole time, I'm looking over my shoulder across the street at Chase. Looking over my shoulder across the street at Chase that's like catty corner to this institution. So, um... She gets to taking all that. When it gets to around 945, 950, I had a um I had a nail appointment. So I'm like, I said, you know what, ma'am? I'm just going to gather my documents and I'm going to leave and I will make an appointment at a later time. You know, because I said the time is getting late and I, I got my schedule lined up for the day. And she's like, Oh, okay, sure. So she said, hey, just, you know, fill this out. So I'll have all your information. Um, and she said, we got to send this to the back office. So I look behind. I say, what back office? The back office back there? She's like, no, I got to, another department reviews all the information and approves us as to whether or not we can open an account for you. I said, okay, cool. She said, you know what? What I'm going to do, I'm going to send this stuff over to them. And then I'm going to give you a call and let you know what they say. I said, all right, bet. You know, and I was like, you know what? I was like, thank you so much for your assistance, you know, I'll be in contact with you, say it back to the bank manager and everything, right? I left out of there, drove to the nail shop, sat down in a pedicure chair, not even 30 minutes, y'all, about 20 to 25 minutes, I get a call from the bank and I recognize the number. So I pick up, hello, Veronica. She's like, oh, yes, this is Veronica, you know, from Byline Bank. And I was just kind of let you know that, unfortunately, we cannot approve your account. Y'all, I was, my heart dropped. I was so defeated. I said, oh, well, why is that? Do you know she told me? Oh, well, the back office called and said they couldn't find any information on your business. Mind you, I produced all of the necessary documents, the EIN, the Articles of Incorporation, freaking, I have been established for two years. You know what I'm saying? Like, I intentionally wait until I approach certain institutions because I know that they want a bit, like I have been denied, well, and I have not, have not been denied, but institutions, like when I first launched my business, they would tell me like larger institutions would be like, you know, no, you need to um, be in business for two years. Like, so this behavior that I've been getting is nothing new because I think it was Marquette Bank. It was a Marquette Bank in Bridgeport, another area that is questionable when it comes to race relations told me that I couldn't open an account with them because I hadn't been established for two years. I've never heard that before in my life. But basically, the, the woman at Byline, she said, oh, yeah, the back, back office couldn't approve your account because they said they couldn't find any information on your business. I've been in business for two years, website, email address, at my domain, and everything, social media presence. So I didn't argue with her, y'all, because I'm like, that, that anxiety that was building up in me, it was for a reason. And I just said, okay, thank you. And I hung up. Never got belligerent, never cussed, never was rude, none of that stuff. But y'all, banking, business banking while black is real. So I'm just telling this story because I would hate for it to happen to anyone else. And we have to hold these banking financial institutions accountable before their behavior. Like she did not even give me a legitimate reason as to why I couldn't open a business account there. The only reason I wanted to open a business account at Byline Bank is because I heard they have this awesome like entrepreneurship loan program. So I wanted to establish a relationship with them. So then when I did get to that point of trying to get capital, it would be a seamless process for me. But no, mm -mm. did not happen, denied me. Got den denied because I'm black. And that's how I truly feel. Like, I was denied because I'm a black woman. So, it's hard. It's difficult. But 
I waited intentionally to post this video until I was able to open an account elsewhere. I was gonna go to another branch of this bank down on 18th in the Pilsen neighborhood, but I didn't even, I just stepped back from byline, byline altogether. Y'all, today I went to two different banking institutions. Um, I went to People's Bank and I went to CIBC Bank. Opened up both of my business accounts, no problem. I was in and out of there 30 minutes. Do you understand what I'm saying? Like. Just be aware, um, be cautious, and keep your cool. Like, do not react the way that they want for us to react or expect us to react. Hold your cool, hold your peace, remain professional. Because at the end of the day, what's for you is for you, and can't nobody stop that or block that. You understand what I'm saying? So, I hope my experience um, helps someone. I do plan to go to the um, Better Business Bureau on their asses on Byline Bank in Worker Park because there was no legitimate reason for them to deny me a business bank account. For real, for real. So, all right, y'all. Peace. Later.